Hey guys, so today we're back with another video and in this video I'm going to install Kali Linux using UTM and you can get UTM from this website here mac.getutm.app it's available on the Mac App Store and basically it uses uh, QEMU QEMU? I don't know how to say that on the back end and they have a github project here we can actually get it for free um, it's a cool project I did buy the Mac app so I'm just gonna jump into that here and you can get the base image from the Kali Linux uh, website if you go to the downloads and you just navigate to this directory here I'm gonna be using the, the arm uh, ISO so because I have the, uh, the M1 uh, Mac mini so we're going to use that one. So I already have it downloaded on my desktop here. And this is the, the UTM application. So as you can see right now, I don't have any um, virtual machines. They have a nice user guide here. It uh, has all the information. And they also have uh, a gallery which you can download some virtual machines that they already have available for you. Uh, Windows XP, etc. So let's get into this and see how it goes. Um, I've only done this a couple of times, so hopefully I don't make any mistakes. So I'm gonna create a new virtual machine and I'm gonna call it uh, Kali Linux. Okay. And I'm just gonna use operating system icon. And for the system, I'm gonna use the ARM 64, so that's what I'm currently on. So I'm just going to stay with the default here. So I actually haven't looked at any of this before, so for now I'm just going to stick with the default and see how it goes. I'm going to give it 2 gigs of RAM for now, and then I'm going to leave this with the default. So the first drive I'm going to give is going to be a CD-ROM drive. Where is it? Um, we're going to go with um, an IDE. So I'm going to go with, let's, yeah, I'll just stick with IDE and select removable. We're going to use an image, so it says here ISO image. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I'm going to add another drive, and I'm going to give this one, let's say, 40 for now. That's going to be used for the Kali Linux install. And then we're going to use full graphics. Let's see. I'm going to leave everything else the same with defaults, inputs default, network it's going to be shared, sound enabled, and then sharing, I'm going to enable the clipboard sharing, I'm going to save that for now, so I should be able to, I believe I have to select the um, drive here, so let's see, the image, oops, my bad. So the image I have to use, dun, dun, dun. where is it here, the DVD, oh it's empty, it's right here, my bad. So I'm going to go to my desktop here, grab this uh, Kali Linux image, and I think we should be good to go. So I'm going to start it up, and it should boot right into the installer here. Okay, so we're booted in, so I'm going to hit install. This is my first time actually trying this uh, UTM with the Kali Linux installer, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Um, so I'm just going to go through a basic install here. Seems to be pretty quick. I use Parallels myself for my other virtual machines, so... We'll see how this goes. 
I do apologize if the screen seems a little small, but uh, we can make it bigger later. And I kind of wanted to upload a 4K video, so it, the way the Mac works, if I shrink the display, then it's really big for me, and then you can only go up to 1080p. So, so I'm just going to leave it with the default name, Akali, no domain name. So I'm just going to say, I'm just going to use the default of Kali Kali. And the password for Kali. Kali. Use the entire disk. And you can see here it's got the virtual disk that we added earlier. So I'm just going to go all files, write the changes to disk. So it's going to install. As you can see, it's uh, it's quite fast. It's, it's not bad at all. I would say it's comparable to the Parallels application. I have tried some other operating systems and they were a bit slow, so... Um, see how this goes so far it looks pretty good should only take a few minutes so it's installing the base system it's going to configure apt so we can download some stuff and install we're just going to do a base system pretty quick I have to say I'm, I'm pretty impressed um, this particular version I think it was like $13 so I'm just gonna stick with the defaults here it's just gonna download what it needs and install it fresh it says it's gonna take about three minutes so let's see how it goes Unfortunately, I can't really stop and pause and then restart the recording, so we just have to kind of sit through it until it's done. Um, but UTM is available on the App Store. I can just show you that real quick. We go to the App Store here, and we search for UTM. Yeah, it's, uh, what was it, like $13, I think? Let's see, it doesn't really show the price here, but I believe it's $13. That's what I paid for it anyway, I believe it's $13. So, um, and they do say here that um, let's see, new features. Now used for the back end. Qmu, Qmu. I don't know how to pronounce that. So, so far so good. Um, I think they have a yeah website here. For support. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, it says that UTM is uh, free and open source, so the Mac App Store's version is identical to the free version, and there's no features left out, um, and it's just to support the development, right? So I purchased the uh, Mac App Store one, um, and also I like the automatic updates of that. So, so yeah, it's a pretty cool project. Um, it's it's my first time using it, so. We'll just uh, see how that goes. So this is almost done. It says 30 seconds, so we'll see. Go 20 seconds. Just take some time to download everything and, and then install, so it's pretty quick kind of jumps around 
Hopefully it'll only take a couple more minutes. The, uh, let's see the activity here. I did buy the 8 uh, gigabyte version of the Mac Mini. I kind of regret now not getting a 16 gigabyte version. So if you do buy a Mac Mini, I recommend getting a 16 gigabit version, gigabyte version rather. Um, I haven't really had any trouble for what I'm doing. I've never really ran out of memory. Um, I did have one hard reset at one time, running a virtual machine with um, with Parallels. Uh, before they updated it, I got a a green screen once but I was doing something in the virtual machine that I think it overloaded Windows in itself which had a kernel panic and then I actually got a blue screen in Windows and then it caused the Mac to crash as well so but other than that it's it's been pretty good I mean it manages memory uh, quite well I do use the Parallels uh, toolbox and they got some nice little apps that uh, you could use to free up memory and stuff like that which is pretty cool uh, I do recommend that. Got a lot of stuff in there that I use regularly. Um, taking breaks and stuff like that. That'll be another video. So for now, let's just wait for this to finish. Uh, looks like it's going to be done in a couple of minutes. It's basically just unpacking and installing now, and then it should reboot, and we should be good to go. That's basically all there is to it. Um, it's, it's definitely not complicated. Uh, I mean, it's a nice uh, user interface. I, I like the way it looks. It's, it's simple and it's pretty straightforward. Um, you know, it's not, uh, it's, not, it's not complicated. It's pretty easy to do. And they do give you instructions, by the way, um, on the website forgot to mention if you go to the support here um, where is it let's see there is a section that where is it that explains ah uh, here it is um, like creating the virtual machine I mean it, it's pretty straightforward they tell you exactly what to do what all the different options are, the drives, um, right? So it shows if you wish to mount an ISO disk image, create a new drive and, and check removable like we did. Um, if you choose to import a drive, uh, you can uh, format the drive or reformat it to make it compatible. Um, display full graphics and all that stuff so you can uh, manage virtual machines with delete, clone, edit, etc. Um, resize. So I mean they have a good like a nice website here. It's got lots of information. You know, I like the gallery. They have different windows. Um, they've got the Windows 10 ARM linked here. My only I guess my only complaint is that you're actually downloading these images from them, from what I understand. Um, let's see, I, I don't believe it's from the source. Yeah, so, like, you know, I don't know. It's their image, right? So, I mean, can you authenticate it? Like, do you know, has it been altered in any way? I don't know. I mean, for me, I prefer to get the image from the source. Um, but it is nice that they have Windows XP here. They got Windows 7. I tried Windows XP, and it was quite slow um, for the X64, as well as the Ubuntu. It was also quite slow. So, you know, that's just the way that, the, uh, that it works with the uh, virtualization. So, you know, but anyway, it's, it's neat. I, I think it's neat. It's a really neat project. Gives you an option, right? If you want, if you don't want to spend the 
hundred bucks on parallels or whatever it is, this is free, right? So it, it's it's an option. I, I personally have had a better experience with parallels, but again, that's a paid app, right? So you're gonna get a better experience with paid software. So um, you know, this is pretty pretty cool for what they're doing. You know, you're getting it for free. So and it looks like this is just about finished. And it's done. So I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to clear this. We don't need that now. It looks like it's booting right into Cali here. And I'm going to log in. And that's it. Oh, there was one thing I forgot. Um, there is another step once you get into the Kali. Uh, oh yeah, here we go. The You need these guest tools here, so let me jump in here and grab that. Um, let's see. As you can see, it's it's pretty cool. I mean, it's it's neat. Um, it's quite easy. It's Windows drivers. Close that for now. So let's see here. I should be able to just change my desktop resolution here now, no problem. Let's see. Oops. My mouse is still a little wonky on this, so there we go. Display. And there we go. We've got additional resolutions right out of the gate. So I'm gonna go with That's it. I mean, it works. I mean, it's it's cool. I mean, it seems to be just just like any other Kali virtual machine. This is my first time doing this, so that's it. Up to date already. So there we go. So that's it. Um, I hope you uh, like this. Uh, little quick install video I'm actually just gonna you can see here you can clone share run edit I mean it's cool delete yeah anyhow